Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about what may be the most important lesson to learn from everything that just went down in Texas. And it's not to winterize your equipment, although that's really important, and I hope that people do that. It's something else. See, if you want to win an election in Texas, well, you got to be a tough guy. you got to cast that image, because that's what the voters in Texas want. They want that uh, good guy in the white hat, somebody that they can count on to protect and defend their community when the bad guys come to town. Somebody they can count on when the chips are down. And when the power is down, what'd they do? Flee the state? Flee the country? <gasps> That's embarrassing, isn't it? It's almost like people who try to cast that image may not really be that. That image is a mirage. And those who... Uh, like that image, like that tough guy attitude. They also like to mock people, like to make fun of people. One of the people that they just truly enjoy making fun of is a guy named O'Rourke. Gets cast as a weakling a lot. He didn't run away. He was organizing supplies, wellness checks, phone banking, 700,000 calls, I think. Somebody else, that big city liberal woman from New York, raised $2 million. $2 million. It's not her district. It's not even her state. $2 million. And I know somebody's going to say something funny down below, like typical tax and spend liberal throwing money at the problem. Yeah, when the problem is a lack of resources and support, throwing money at it is actually kind of super effective. But that's what happened because uh, they, they didn't freeze. They could operate without the machinery of government. That's what happened. When those who cast that tough guy image couldn't just bark orders into a phone, they had no clue what to do. So, they gave up. They threw their hands up. They froze figuratively, while their constituents froze literally. And those who are the target of so much of their anger and wrath, those are the ones who came through. Those are the ones who stepped up. That's something that the uh, people of the great state of Texas might want to keep in mind. If you support those who spout selfish, self-absorbed talking points, you very well may end up with selfish, self-absorbed leaders. You don't end up with the tough guy. If you continue to look for that kind of leadership, those who can only operate when they have the force of government behind them. You're going to be in this situation again because it will happen. And once again, you'll be praying for the bartender and the weakling to come to your aid. I do find it entertaining that Texas is finding out that sometimes the tough guy doesn't wear cowboy boots and a white hat. Sometimes she wears high heels. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.